way to Mount Buffalo. Small town, tourist town, full of tranquil, full of relaxation, retreat. Good holiday. Good fun. Welcome to another episode of Chris Bushland Adventures. And we're here, yes, you name it, Port Hunt. This small town of Port Hunt. And as I said, it's the gateway to Mount Buffalo where we went previously on our, uh, on our four parts of that experience. So we're just going through the river walk, the uh, river Popanka River Loop Walk. All that along the Alpha River. It's the same as what we did at Bright. It's not that far from here, so this is the other way around. Here at Popanka, so lots of interesting places. Look and see what we can find. Enjoy. And here we have a wading pool and swimming area for children. It's a small shallow pool built for children, which is next to the playground. And this is very popular during the summertime. And also there are public amenities as well. And as well as a table for picnickers. And here we have, we are coming into a, a viewpoint of Mount Buffalo from Port Punka. 
This is a reminder that you're in the middle of the Alpine region. And of course, this is Mount Buffalo, and we've been there in the four-part series of the, on this channel, the Mount Buffalo experience. Please take your time and reflect back to those episodes on Mount Buffalo. Now we're coming into the old Popanka Bridge. This was used for road traffic until it was closed and the new bridge was built. Now we're coming into an area of where there's a, a relic, an old relic, the old stone hut. So let's have a look at it. It's a ruin dating back to the gold rush era. Now look at this, we're down here with an old stone hut, yeah, it's an old relic and uh, I guess it goes back in the early days, mining days of Bright and Popanka, so um, I'm just in here now in the old stone hut, just imagine Back in the gold rush days, this would have been very, this is very primitive, primitive, and um, I guess this is, this is the main, the um, remains of the old stone hut. There may be quite a few, could have been big, 
because what's behind me, what's around here is, well, there's the stone hut. And uh, lots of uh, remnants here. Look like steps. Going to the, uh, an old stone hut, which is not there anymore, but it's only, that's all it remains. This walking trail was constructed in 1996 after the locals rallied to improve the local facilities. It's a wonderful track. What a such a delightful track, a very delightful place to be walking here in Popanka. And this is absolutely gorgeous, absolutely, look at this guys, <laughs> look at this. You got seats along the way, of course this is the Ovens River. And the track is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> oh, you've got to come here. You've got to, you've got to come here. Oh, look at this, folks. Well, on this track, we have a cafe. Open, smacking in the middle of the bush. Yeah, I'm feeling peckish. I'm feeling hungry. Let's go to the cafe, get a coffee, eh? <laughs> this is awesome. We've got to go through the, a bit of a property gate. They left it open for the pedestrians. How cool is that? Yeah. Just got to follow the path. Look at this. Let's follow the arrows. That's an old building. A stable, it's an old stable. An old disused stable. We'll follow the arrow, yes, we follow this track. Awesome. See that? Wonder how old that is. And here we are at a small cafe. It's a quaint, beautiful area. 
beautiful cafe called the Sale E P P Cafe. A bit of a shap, a bit of a shout out. So make sure you go there, have a cup of coffee and a cake, and some also some little rolls that you can eat as well. Lovely setting. And we are approaching one of these suspension bridges over the river. There's a numerous a number of suspension bridges along the Athens River, along here, from between Polpunka and Bright. And this is one of them. Oh, now I didn't know which track to take. No through track. So we can't go that way. Huh. Probably all um, damaged by floods. We've had a very, very bad flood in October and uh, it could have been, that could have been it. <laughs> so um, we're gonna have to take the other way. So uh, we're gonna push on before we get any rain. It's not raining at the moment, so um, it's just cloudy. So it looks like it just might sprinkle. <laughs> There are a few points along the track where you can follow your nose down the river's edge. The paths are mostly unmade. Though, so stick to the track if you have concerns, if you get lost. And, you're, and we're here approaching Surface Street. Emerge from the river path to the main road. And you'll see the sealed shared path running on Surface Street. So go in a westerly direction Beware of fast approaching people on bikes on both directions. This will lead you back into town of Popunka.
This is another one of these cafes in Popanka. This is the bike mecca cafe, which is very popular with people using the section of the rail trail. And we are eventually coming into the main street of Popanka and we have a, a fantastic hotel, Popanka Hotel. Great meals, great service. the main bridge at Popanka between Murderford and Bright and also it leads you to Mount Buffalo. So we head back down to the Riverside Park and if you wish to get back up the main road you can head under the underpass. And this is the Popanka Town Entry. This rail trail used to be a railway line between Wangaratta and Bright. Now it's used as a bike path and for those walkers Well, it's come to an end of this uh, episode here at Polpanka. What a beautiful place this is. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the trees, the autumn leaves. And of course, this is autumn time. And this is the best time to come here at Polpanka. And also in Bright as well. So um, anyway, and uh, my next adventure will be doing a little bit of climbing yes to Mount Major. Mount Major is somewhat between Benalla and Shepparton off the beaten track there a bit. Um, a little town called Dookie and there's a historic settlement called Cashel. Cashel. So uh, lots of history there. So then you got Mount Major which has a, quite a few transmitter towers up there so that's going to be interesting you know, we get some beautiful views from up there so that'll be my next adventure mount major i shall see you there this is absolutely gorgeous this place poor punker